Hello! Today is a good day. I'm gonna go visit my friend Antti in Turnava, Finland. And we're gonna probably take some future TED trails and some of Antti's special trails here in Turnava. I'm not sure how long this day is gonna be, but uh, Antti is driving a KTM 690. I don't know if there's an R and at the end of that, maybe. <laughs> but it's a pretty hardcore enduro bike and I'm taking my Tanara 700. So let's see where Antti takes me. It's a beautiful day. Uh, weather is about 12 degrees Celsius, so pretty nippy, but you don't have to sweat so much, so it's a good thing. Okay, I'll see you when I see Antti and uh, we figure out some trails. Okay, let's get it. Let's see where Antti is gonna take us. Let's hope I don't fall too many times. <laughs> gonna be eating some dust today <laughs> it's pretty dry and uh, I'm gonna be following Antti whole for the whole trip because I don't know these trails Antti is running the GPS today I'm still on the Pirelli STR rally tire or is it Scorpion rally tire the one which comes that comes with the Tenere right of the box it's a pretty good tire i would say it's a lot better than the michelin aniki adventure tire that i had on my previous bike this is a much more predictable tire at least the front tire it doesn't bounce as much on the rocks and loose stuff oh yeah it's very dusty today as you can see it Probably keep a little distance so I, I don't have to eat so much of it. Oh shit, I forgot to take off my ABS. Uh, I'll take it off when we stop. I don't want to stop right now. We're in a good flow. I like this kind of a fast, fast paced trails that are not too tricky. It's like meditation driving this. You can just zone out and uh, enjoy, enjoy the views and as you can see, Finland is starting to go towards fall because the leaves are all yellow and beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna say the Tenere is not any easier driving, driving the sand than my previous bike was. And of course I'm not good at it <laughs> either. And it's a heavy beast, this is. Oh. Auntie is gonna leave me behind pretty easily on this one. The KTM is gonna just skip over this. I'm prepared to fall, but... <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> No en mä tiedä liian pehmeeksi, mutta kyllä mulla vauhti hiastuu tossa, et no. En mä ihan samalla en pysty skippailemaan kuin sä tossa. Ei tossa nyt sillä lailla, tänään oli ihan kiva viia, mutta no. Kyllä mä niinku puotan kakkoselle ja me aika nätiisti nopeik Yeah, and it 
some confidence on going on those sandy sections that I don't really have. But we are all learning at some point. Almost dropped it there as well. Now it's getting a little soft and muddy. Woo! <laughs> These are nice trails. I really enjoy it. Even though Auntie is gonna take me to, to the limit of my capabilities as a driver with this big bike. But it is fun. I'm really trying not to get hurt though because I have to get to... Oh, I can't see anything because my visor is all oh, fogging up. I have to open it up. Ooh, oh, very deep these sections. Oh, Auntie loves these deep sections. I really don't. <laughs> the sand is not really my my favorite part to drive on and I'm not gonna try to keep up with him because that's a sure way to get hurt out here but damn I really enjoy this this is fun really really fun oh yes fantastic trails fantastic trails much fun. I think the Tenere is still a slightly bit better going in this soft stuff than my previous bike. Maybe it's because of the shape and geometry of the bike I'm not sure but it is heavier but it tracks a little better I think especially when you think about the tires I'm running very very soft stuff oh yeah <laughs> ooh, ooh. the front end is really really slipping about some jumps ooh, I forgot the ABS on again I always have to turn this off off-road. Nice. That's one bad thing. You can't turn the ABS off permanently without taking the power off. So every time you... Well, that's a nice place for a picture. Maybe this is a place for a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Arma. HDR on niinku valmis jo päällä. Se voi olla. Muun muassa on niinku vähän niinku default. Sideways. Ooh, some dust. <laughs> Damn, my eyes. My eyes are full of it. Have to keep some distance. Finland is full of these tracks and you can drive them. It's perfectly legal, usually. And they are fun. And if you ever come, come driving to Finland, to drive the Tet or something like that, 
so join our discord server we would be happy to drive with you and show you around maybe some tracks that are not marked on the map on the test map at least okay shut up and drive some of this is me getting used to the bike I haven't really taken this off-road that much because I've been buying some bark busters and new handlebars and stuff like that so I haven't been taking too many meters of this kind of road so I have to get used to the bike and get some confidence which I'm sorely lacking at the moment actually part of the current TED Trans Euro Trail Finland as you can see the red marker is for the Trans Euro Trail so some trails today are a part of TED and some are not those extremely soft sections were not a part of TED but uh, there are some of those in the TED route as well let's see the bike nice <laughs> oh no, I still have ABS on let me stop here take it off again I hate this shit or something like that a bucket full of shit on the road <laughs> that's not gonna smell so good look that's not gonna smell so good on the radiator I'll keep my distance so I won't get so much dust I have to say that I love the Tenere. Off-roading in this, it's just a big dirt bike. It is big and it is uh, somewhat difficult to handle in some places, especially if you're not Paul Tarres, which I'm not. But oh my God, this is so much fun. This bike just takes on anything. Even me, I'm very un <laughs> untalented on this stuff. And this bike just keeps telling me, you can do it, you can do it. And it is doing it. There's no problem with the bike. The rider is the only concern. I really think that this Tenere can do almost anything. Even with the stock tires, I'm so surprised at how good these are. The conditions are pretty dry at the moment but still what this can do with these Pirellis is nothing short of amazing oh, I have to watch out for my head and my GoPro <laughs> Okay, it was a, there was a sign that the bridge is not that strong. What? Yes. 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 Yes.
Sä voit mennä ensin ja... No niin, mikä mun vastaus? Huhuu! That was a big drop. Didn't even notice that. I know in the video this doesn't look steep, but it is very steep. It, yeah, the, the sign told me that this is not a bridge that will last very well, but looks like it takes two adventure bikes pretty well. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the rut. Shit. This is not gonna be easy to take off. Okay, let's see. Let's put it in neutral. So I kind of really don't have any traction here. How deep am I? It's pretty deep. I should just get the rear end of the bike out of the fucking trot there. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, I can always drop the bike and try to do it that way, but let's Okay, lifting is not a solution. <laughs> Let's try again. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's out. Oh shit. <laughs> as long as I don't put it back. Uh, damn. Now let's try. Oh, fuck, it's hard. I have to take a have to take a break. Oli jumissa tossa reijässä. Mulla vaan loppu kunto, niin mutta levähtää vähän. Totta tää ei laaku tästä pois. Oh, there's some deep ruts here. I have to take some speed. This is very tall, tall, tall. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost fell at the top. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's quite, quite steep. Sorry for my breathing. Surprisingly hard. Okay, let's take a big, a bit of a break and continue. Okay, let's continue the journey. That was an in interesting climb there. It's so much more fun to drive with someone rather than alone because you can take a little bit more more risk if you fall down or get stuck you're not alone with the 210 kilogram bike okay the tank is now full and I got some coffee in my bloodstream little spot for taking a break
How's it going? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot <laughs> in English. Yeah, yeah. Let's just admire the KTM for a bit. I'm trying to get out, out of the way. <laughs> Oh shit, <laughs> again, always the off-road mode, remember to put it, you don't want ABS on these kind of descents. a bit of sand oh. come on don't get stuck Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> oh, that was a drop, drop and a half. This is so fun, oh, so much fun. It is just hard to imagine anything this fun. Big rocks, 
I guess this is starting to be the end of the video. It's been a really nice day driving with Auntie. Dusty, but, <laughs> but very much fun. Really enjoyable day. The day has start, starting to end now and the sun is going out so I'm starting to move towards home at the moment. But yeah, first time driving Tenere off-road officially. I've done some very light off-roading before this day but today was the first time I took some more challenging routes and uh, the bike is performing flawlessly. The tires could be better to improve some improved traction on the softer stuff but Considering how good these tires are on road, on the tarmac, I'm gonna give these tires 10 out of 10. Perfect. I would even go as far as to say 50-50 tire almost. Maybe 70-30 is a more accurate description of this Pirelli, but I'm really happy how these perform. And uh, I could even buy them again maybe at, the, at some point. Depends on what I'm gonna do with them. But very nice tire. Nice predictable traction. You know when it gets to the soft stuff you know it's gonna be a little challenging so you drop the speed and take it easy. But otherwise this normal fire roads, very nice tire and uh, I gotta say I love the Tenere. The Tenere just feels so enjoyable and fun. Fun is the word. If I had to use one word to describe this bike is fun. This is so effortless and everything about the bike is such a nice companion in these roads. Maybe if you plan to drive around the world you could take a more comfortable bike with you like a big GS or something like that but I think this is a perfect middle ground because this bike does offer some very nice on-road performance and comfort and it's super fun off-road it really does it it's not wrong to say that this is a big enduro bike so very highly recommended from me. If you can handle the height of the bike, it's a very nice bike to buy and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, let's uh, see you on the next videos. Bye!